Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. If anyone's new here, my name is Jenna. I cannot explain to you guys how excited I am to be filming this video. I'm going to run through all of my favorite coffee shops in New York City. I feel like I get this question. This is probably the question that I get the most either on Instagram or on YouTube. It's either, what's your top favorite coffee shops? Which ones do you recommend? Can you do a video running through all of them? So we're gonna do everything today and I cannot wait to share these with you guys. I have seven that I'm going to run through. Some of them are going to be ones that are considered like viral, but that I still think are definitely worth the hype. And then other ones are smaller coffee shops that you maybe have not heard of. And all of these, if you're visiting New York City, Depending on, I'm not going to run through the price points just because I feel like if you're visiting, you should definitely treat yourself to that coffee and just get out into the city and be up early when not a lot of people are around and this is a really great way to like get your day started. So if you guys are obsessed with coffee just as much as I am, this is the perfect video for you. So make sure you're subscribed. I would love to have you on my channel. I film a ton of like vlogs and styling videos and all that fun stuff. So fashion and lifestyle, if that's your thing, I would love to have you. So. We are gonna start with one of my more recent favorites and I took clips of all of these so you'll see what they actually look like inside and then I'll leave um, all the information like the address and the description down below. So the first one is The Lost Draft and I've really been starting to buy coffees here more recently because it's on my way to go and shoot in Soho in the mornings. So I wake up super early to do that before work and this coffee shop opens at 7 a.m. which is one of my favorite things about some of these is that they're open early. So there's a very minimal environment in here. It's very calming. They allow laptops. I think it's right next to a NYU like dorm area. So it's huge. That's another thing is that I'll let you guys know how big the size is on a scale because some coffee shops are like a hole in the wall where you're just walking in getting your coffee to go and then other ones you can sit down and kind of relax. So if it's in the middle of the day and you're walking around Soho, this would be a really good place to stop because it's huge inside. And I will mention that the coffee store are a little bit more expensive they're around like the seven dollar range but honestly when you're in New York City and you're just visiting I highly recommend just going to whichever coffee shop you want and like treating yourself and making it a part of your routine it's also a really good way to get up and get out into New York City before the crowds come because Soho gets insane it's like Times Square down here sometimes and so it's really nice to just be out there in the morning when no one else is around and grabbing a coffee is a really great way to do that. So really love the Lost Draft. They do have flavors for their coffee which some of these places only just have like simple syrup. So a great variety and a really good place to stop. The next one is one of my favorites and it's really just because of how unique it is inside. So this is Urban Backyard and it basically looks like a greenhouse. It's very earthy. It's very calming and it's very small so this is one of those places that if you're visiting in the summer sorry i just need to not be sitting on my ankles because they're gonna fall asleep <laughs> so this is a place that you would want to really just pop in and grab your coffee and go they do have an outdoor space so if you're visiting new york city in the spring or summertime, this is a good place to kind of sit outside, but they don't have too much seating. So this is one of those kind of like grab and go spots, but it's really cool on the inside. The breakfast sandwich here is absolutely amazing, um, but I always get the hazelnut latte there. It's made with variety coffee roast beans, which I tried variety coffee roasters, which I should have included that in this video, but I was not getting up to, I think it's on 78th street, and I was just not going to make it up there before I started filming this. but. The variety beans are so good and the Urban Backyard coffee shop uses the variety beans to make their coffees. So that's probably why I love it because I love variety so much, but really great coffee, very like artistic and well thought out atmosphere. And it's just a place that you can kind of like sit for a little bit if you want to, but it's really, you know, it can get crowded pretty quickly because it is one of those more like hole in the wall style places, but it's really cool inside. So I definitely highly recommend doing that if you guys want more of a design kind of aspect, whereas the Lost Draft is on the opposite side of the scale when it comes to the minimalism. Okay, then we have, obviously I had to include a Parisian cafe here. We have Maman, which I would say it's like mid-tier when it comes to how like popular it is. I think because they have so many locations it makes them popular, but you don't necessarily see like crowds and lines outside of these places. So Maman has several locations in New York City, which I wanted to include ones, well first of all I love them, but I also wanted to include coffee shops that if you're not necessarily staying down in Soho, you shouldn't have to travel. Like let's say you're staying on the Upper East Side or whatever, you shouldn't have to travel all the way down here just to get a coffee. Um, but most people come to Soho anyway when they visit New York City, so it's a very like popular place to come. So a lot of them are based here. So there is one here, but just to keep in mind there are other locations, just a bunch of different places. So 
I love Maman just for the French touches and the French atmosphere that it has. It is so beautiful inside. It's kind of like this rustic French countryside feel. And this is the first coffee shop that I probably came into a routine with and I was like, okay, we actually need to switch it up. And I just feel like I'm actually in Europe when I'm in Maman and they have amazing brunch. So there's a seating area in this specific location that I am speaking about. There's a seating area in the back and then there's also outdoor seating for when it's a little bit warmer out. And they have amazing coffee. The croissants are amazing, but not my most favorite croissant. We will get to that in a little bit, but just a really good like French aesthetic if that's what you guys are looking for. Okay, so speaking of my favorite croissant, we're gonna talk about Butler and this is usually the place that I get a cold brew at. Normally I am a vanilla slash hazelnut slash whatever kind of latte I can get. But in this coffee shop, I normally get cold brew just because it's that good. And Butler is another place that allows you to have laptops. So if you guys need to get some work done while you're visiting, you can go there for doing some work. But again, it's a little bit on the larger side where you can kind of like sit and kind of take a break in the middle of the day that if you need to. Um, the atmosphere in here is like very, I don't know how to explain it. It's like cheery and pastel and it's kind of got like that industrial contrast to it with like concrete flooring and all that kind of stuff and really, really great coffee. Obviously all these coffee shops have amazing coffee, otherwise I wouldn't be including them in the video because I did have to do some narrowing down, but this is one of my favorite places. It's very well lit. It's just a really nice, like airy and bright atmosphere, which I love. And their pastries, they will sometimes be making them while I'm in there and I'm standing there behind the glass like drooling because it smells so good and I already know how good the croissant is. So the fact that they make them in front of you sometimes is just icing on the cake. And so they are my favorite croissant. I don't even know if I could explain the flavor to you guys, but imagine like texture wise, it's like flaky and doughy at the same time. So. If I'm going to get a pastry and a coffee, this will be my number one. If I'm just getting coffees, then everything's kind of on the same playing field. But Butler, definitely, if you guys want a little midday snack or if you're going there for breakfast, I would highly recommend that. They also have a cinnamon, a French cinnamon twist or something. It like tastes like a Cinnabon, but fresher. So I would recommend that too if you guys are going there. It's to die for. Okay, then we will speak about another viral place. So this is more recently viral and I cannot even remember how I found out about it to be honest, which I think is kind of, oh, I think one of my friends posted it. So this is a, I think it's a Scandinavian coffee shop. Oh my gosh, my battery's gonna die now. So I think it's a Scandinavian coffee shop. Again, very minimal relaxing vibes on the inside. It's a lot of like warm tones. They do have two locations. They had one, in, or they still have one in the East Village, and now they have one in Soho, which is closer to me, which is amazing. There will always be a line here. And I went yesterday at like an awkward time. It was like 4 p.m., and there was still a line, but it wasn't out the door. The line moves very quickly. Do not let that intimidate you. They have a very good system set up. They have like four baristas making coffees at the same time. So don't let that deter you. I would still go. And they have a really interesting and unique menu. Like their beans are roasted from these different regions and they have different options for the types of coffee that you can get. But it's also very like simple, if that makes sense. Like the beans themselves are unique, but the actual drinks, it's like, okay, you can get a latte, you can get espresso, but the menu is very like short and concise, which I actually really like. And this place is a little bit larger than, I would say it's comparable to Butler, but it does have more space in it. There's more seating in it and it's a really good atmosphere too. I don't think they allow laptops just because they try to conserve space and let different people come in and out. And I feel like if you have a laptop, then you're obviously staying for a while. It's not, like forbidden to have a laptop in there, but they just recommend that you don't bring one. So a good place to pop in and sit down for a second to rest, but you know, not somewhere that you'd want to stay all day because I'm sure it's going to be super crowded because of the notoriety behind it. Okay, so then we're going to talk about Ralph's, which I cannot believe that I forgot to tell you guys, but I have a Ralph's cup right here because I went this morning. And this is another place, this is the most aesthetic coffee shop out of all of them, I would say, when it comes to like, 
American style like Ralph Lauren I feel like is the epitome of American style and it's just very classic and the inside of this it's this like dark green and white concept with a bunch of white everywhere and the staff is always so nice they have the cutest outfits and they have like Ralph's coffee shop hats on they also have merchandise here so if you're looking okay so if the light or the setup looks a little bit different I had to just charge my battery for the past 30 minutes because it died on me but we were talking about Ralph's and the fact that they have the cutest merchandise. So if you're looking for a little souvenir to bring back from New York City, then I think that Ralph's has some really, really cute things. So they have tote bags and little mugs and water bottles and all this cute stuff. So I feel like even if you're getting a gift for someone too, then this would be really cute because I feel like a majority of people drink coffee or tea and it's also unisex as well. So I love that they have this traditional American feel to them and it's just like the cutest little coffee shop and this doesn't have any seating on the inside But it does have tables outside when the weather is nice So just to keep that in mind as well It's more so of like a pop in and come out if you can find a seat outside then you're golden um, But I'm speaking of the one in Flatiron. They also have one on the Upper East Side. I think it's on 72nd Street um, but when you come to New York City, I recommend that you go to Soho but then you also do the kind of like Madison Avenue walk which is basically from around the 70s down to kind of like the high 50s i would say and it's just a completely different vibe so they do have one in Flatiron, which i feel like is not a very popular area that people visit when they're in new york city so you'll probably want to visit the like huge flagship store on the upper east side it's beautiful up there it's quiet it's clean which I feel like a majority of New York City is not so I think if I would recommend one location over the other I would say go to the flagship if you want the entire full experience and then they have a lot more seating outside too So you can possibly have more luck with getting a table and sitting outside for a little Okay, so then my last one I have to fish through to see if I can find Some clips from a while ago because I didn't make it here in time But there was no way I was leaving this coffee shop out and it's Jack's stir brew coffee They have I think three locations in New York City if not more, but there's one in Tribeca, there's one in West Village, which it's just like my favorite one ever. It's very, very small and it's a more of a hole in the wall kind of feel. And then I think there's one like a standalone. So there's one in a hotel in Tribeca and there's one, I think a standalone in Tribeca, but not positive on that. But this is my favorite in terms of their menu and the way that they structure it. So everything has its own name. I am usually one that gets the Happy Jack or the, oh my gosh, I'm not going to remember which one it is. I haven't been to the West Village location in so long. Um, but basically they make really, really good lattes with um, like honey and cinnamon and the ingredients are just very, very natural. They don't have like different kinds of syrups and like hazelnut and pistachio and all that kind of stuff. But the way that they kind of like curate their menu is very cool. You can order off menu too and just get a regular latte without anything in it or no cinnamon or whatever the case may be. Um, but I just like that they have their own theme and it's kind of like, oh, it's the Mountie. That's the drink that I normally get. So if you guys go and you get a Mountie, definitely tag me. If you go to any of these coffee shops and definitely tag me on Instagram, I would love to see if you guys actually make it there or comment down below. Um, but yeah, Jax is more of like that cozy hole in the wall kind of feel and their menu is like one of the most unique that I've seen. I would say that West Village is definitely a place that you need to visit when you're in New York City, so definitely go to that Jack's Coffee location if you are over in that area. But those are the top seven that I have. I do also just want to address a couple more. So Cafe Katoon I think is a really good one to go to as well, but I just feel like I kind of exhausted myself there and it's also in the west village too so if you're in that area that's another good place to go to they don't allow laptops so just to keep in mind and then another big one that you'll probably see a bunch of people who live in new york city go to blank street and for me i didn't include it because i think it's it's viral it's like i wouldn't say it's viral i think it's very common and then i think it's also kind of overhyped so coffee's good but it's not anything to like blow you out of the water the atmosphere is not anything to blow you out of the water so that's something that I decided to leave out because it didn't have I feel like all of these have a very like specific and unique thing to each one of them and they're all different and just one thing to note and you guys might hate me for this but if you're visiting New York City do not go to Starbucks I see so many people carrying Starbucks cups and I'm like there are way too many cute and unique cafes in New York for you to be getting a Starbucks so 
for the love of God, please do not go to Starbucks if you come and visit New York City. There are way too many amazing places that you need to visit. And I just feel like Starbucks is kind of a waste when you have access to that many amazing places. So that is my list, you guys. I feel like I tried to run through them as quickly as possible, but as you can tell, I'm just very passionate about coffee and coffee runs and coffee shops. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was helpful to you guys. If you either requested this video or you're just stumbling upon my channel and you're visiting New York City and you wanted to get a couple of ideas for different coffee shops you'd want to visit, then I hope that you guys got some good information here. So again, make sure you don't forget to subscribe. I love you all and I will see you in my next video.